We know the place of origin of coffee, but not the exact date. The first traces were found in the ancient land of Abyssinia, today's Ethiopia, at the crossroads between the Arab and African world. Among coffee-producing nations, today Ethiopia is the only one that also consumes it. Coffee is currently the most important crop in 12 countries. Every day, more than 2 million cups are drunk around the world. A business that comes second only to petrol with potentially higher profits and that employs around 100 million people. The price of coffee is determined by the New York and London stock exchanges, but since 2008, Addis Abeba has had its own, the Ethiopian Commodity Exchange. Varieties from all over the country are traded here. The negotiations at the Addis Abeba Stock Exchange bring together supply and demand, thus protecting the price of coffee from the imbalances of international markets. Here is Minilik. He lives in Addis Abeba with his family and is the president of the Ethiopian Coffee Roasters Association. This coffee business, I think uh, it, it uh, was born with me. I, I have a passion for coffee, producing and uh, consuming it. This is the place where you can find uh, any kind of coffee which Ethiopia can produce. Here we have about seven types of coffee. Almost all the coffee drunk in the world belongs to two species, Arabica and Robusta. There are hundreds of different varieties with specific aromas and qualities that depend on the region where they grow, the microclimate, harvest and drying methods and roasting procedure. Each coffee tells a story of where it comes from and its area of production. Sidamo, Irgache, Hara. In Ethiopia, coffee is grown by a multitude of small producers who own, on average, about one hectare of land. Yet the entire international market is controlled by just four multinationals. How far is the gap between the farmers and the final users? The price, I mean, on the price mode, it is very, very, very wide. I realize I should work to uh, minimize this gap.
Bunda nafi jire na kisha. Malifi kona kabu hori nusu su kani tira jira dera guda hida buna kani. Wan bira kabu indal dalu. Oh, misumma buna hari kita tekan jira. Bisa nuja tu, jauh. Bisa am udah guna nih, kena dulu jadi sangat kurang desa. Hero guna bagaya mau funane di mana tu, tu kau funane itu sila gese. Irga itu sila gese, amu boda irga ni kau geng dunia ti dewi se. The Herena Forest is one of the largest in the country. Here, shaded by trees that reach 30 meters in height, a unique wild coffee grows spontaneously. Tayir inherited half a hectare of land from his father and lives here with his wife and four children. 132 producers organized in three cooperatives form the Slow Food Presidium. Edo sila gese, amu boda irgeni koge donia ti dewi se, edo adaka muka kana kana jala kayo silen jira ti muka kana jala kay banka jero gabat bar baju bakeni bar baju baka gari gese ingur bat ingat 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 ingat. Yado asindura ima yana, garu ka amma kana mu tu nu edo ni dakus ban dakun fis beke baru bar bada hobi gudar raga. This is the Seneti Plateau in the heart of the Oromia region in southeastern Ethiopia. The plateau reaches 4,500 meters above sea level in the national park of the Bale Mountains. The area is very difficult to reach, taking two days by car from Addis Abeba. I'm going to a wild forest coffee in Bale. I want to see that coffee the farmers and how to prepare and produce produce that uh, coffee and if for this uh, season have they enough uh, product to deliver the market I have an interest to sell uh, and to prepare this Harana forest coffee locally and uh, internationally. ま、かんのか。やだ。やだ。かん。やり。おいよ。うん。ガファバンケンな、ウジマルティジラヨアンビティガグロテ。え、ホリホラ。え、ガファバケンなぜ。え、あっか。ボンニャンもえ、あっち
ए हल्का नुचेक से गुया नुचेक से तिकावारे नुवाई ए अकान सिद्धि हो रही हो रही चिपो सी जने रब्बी के नतिकार नबाक काबुन One kilogram of coffee will give you about 125 cup of uh, coffee. You will uh, sell the, the bar owner or the coffee shop owner getting about $500 for one kilogram of coffee by supplying one espresso. But the farmer who do, who produce, who has a who sacrifice his life getting only three dollars. After drying for two to three weeks, the coffee cherries are put into bags and taken to the local mill to extract the beans from the outside shell. The coffee from Tahir, Abba and other local producers is taken here. From here, the bags leave for Addis Abeba and are sent to the Oromia Coffee Farmers Cooperatives Union, a second level cooperative that selects and classifies the beans, separating top quality coffee for foreign markets from second choice coffee for the local market. Naguma, Yera. Welcome to our coffee cooperative union. My name is Tadisim Skala, the founder and the general manager of Oromia Coffee Farmers Cooperative Union. To date, we do have 197 member cooperatives and more than 200,000 farmers. And uh, altogether, we are serving 1.5 million people with the objective of bypassing the middlemen to sell their coffee, if possible, abroad and to bring back the profit to the members. And the other objective is if we don't have the market in abroad, we were planning to sell this coffee to genuine exporters in the country. Farmer Cooperative Union, three stages. It doesn't go through any middleman. The farmer is owner of the coffee tree. This farmer is a member of a primary society. And the union is the one which exports the coffee and they bring back the profit to the primary society of the cooperative. And the cooperative again pays back the dividend to the individual farmers. It's a coffee which you know its address. You know where the coffee of cooperative comes from. If you ask me, the, the, give me the name of the lot, I can trace back from which cooperative or which village this coffee is coming. Whenever we have training session, we tell them, if you prepare the coffee, the coffee in a good way, you are going to get a good price. So that's how, since our coffee is traceable, we know which farmer, which cooperatives are bringing good coffees. So those which are bringing good coffees are getting a very good price because we are paid good price from coffee roasters and the coffee buyers are not. Yoga di bayi hojete, inni shubon kun hin ufa inni jeda musun akuma jurutti taye shubon kun ammalle buna ganda kana kesi jurunda ga kanjet inkawan. In Dunda, one to F, Jetta, Bunakesan, Lutae, Serakato Kofara, Cassid Batan, Nanabdata, Bunni Akasi, Bunni Gurati in Funanum. Uvaniragan Bunni Magalis in Funanum. Uvaniragan Buna Magala, Namni Funanu, Nama Kisarakes, and Nama Hijumakes, the Gratu Barbadi. Barumsa Hinargane, Namni Nutinim, Hinjetu. 
እንጀታ ንምን ወርን አጌ ሰንኩ ዳርጋጎንስ ማንጉዶንስ ብራንድርሴ ቆጳየ ስሬራቲ ሳንቲሜትራ ሳዲ ሃንጋፉሪ ካንጫል ሳዲ አፉር የቹን ካሌሳ ማኛቴት ታይር የሮቶ ኮጎጋ ሂንጂሩ እንን ጀለጂሩ ጎጌራ ጎጉቱን ታይን ሻቤት ጅራ እንን ገራራጅሩሞ ጎጉ ጀልቀቤት ጅራ አካስታው ሁንቀብ ሁዱምቱ ወልዱ ካከኒ ጎጉ ጉያቲ ሳቲ ሳቲ ዳን ሳቲ ሳቲ ዳን ሶቾሰሙ ቀብ ማሊፍ ወልዱ ካ ወል ወሌገ ሂንጎግ ንሁንዱ አንተ ዩታኤ ፈረካ ተኮፋ ከሲድ ባታን ነናብደዳ ጋሪዳ እንጀዳ ገለቶም ሰላም ተላፈርጤ ሰና ማርጎ ተላማ ጋጋደ ቻተኒ ቆጮ አዳቲ ጉተኝ ቹስ ይሳሞ ዋንብራ ጎሲኒ ዋንብራ ቲ ኦልፈና እዚ ዋንብራ እ ዋንብራ ሮፍ ዱጋቲ ዘ ዋንብራ ዘ ብዘከ ሰርጉራን ዋንብራ ሮፍ ዋካለ የዮሂ መማናት ትልፋት ቀራ ስተርካ ትሩታ ትሩ ስተካን ታለ ብሩታ ትሩ ኤርጊል ኢንጂነር ወነ ባሩሳ ነው ነሞ ጋራ ጋራ ጋሩ ማጋራ ርካ ወካን ዲባከ ሰጋልታ ማጀለ ፍኛ ቦዋሳ ካናፍ ሐላማ ካን ትበረነ ያ ሙንዲ ነማ ትበረተ ፋይዳ ካናፍ አርጉ ቦዋታ ወርገ ፈከ ነው ቆራተ ሙንዲ ነማ ሁጂ ካና ጋለ ይራም ሄሮም ማቲ አጅንዱራ ቶኮ አባ ቶኮ ጅራ ፋፍ አፍሪካ ይራማ ወረቦት ነው ለጉርማ ኢሳኔ ጉርጉራት ይሮ ቶኮ ቶኮ ካናሙና ያው ወርገ ማለ ካናሙ ኢሳና ጉርጉ ለባቃ ይሮ ማለ ሳና ጉርባ ለማለ ነይ ብራከ ትሩ ቡንጅሩ ለጋደለን ሁበት ከቲ ዋን ቤተን ቢንደፍ አባን ፈራ ወርጋ ሁኑ ራቢታኔት ሳን ኢርጋሲ ጋባት ዴሳ ሳን ጉርባታት After this selection, part of the coffee is sold in the local market and once roasted is ready for consumption. The rest is loaded onto ships to reach the international markets. Most of it is purchased by large importers who then distribute it to coffee roasters all over the world. And this is how the coffee from Tahir finishes up in our cups. Enrico Meschini is the president and founder of the Special Certified Coffee Association. He identifies and selects coffee from around the world and provides technical suggestions to improve production and quality of the product. Mi sento un po' come un sommelier del caffè, cioè una persona che è in grado di percepire all'assaggio, sia questo in infusione o in espresso, una serie di caratteristiche olfattive e gustative che caratterizzano alcuni prodotti o comunque sono in grado di descrivere i caffè che mi vengono sottoposti. Slow Food mi fece arrivare alcuni campioni di caffè e poi mi mandò questo sacchetto di caffè recuperato in questa zona sperduta dell'Etiopia che è l'Arena Forest. Era un caffè di bassissimo livello. Il primo passo che noi abbiamo fatto non è stato solo assaggiarlo, che è stata un'esperienza veramente pessima, ma è stato quello di tentare di ripulirlo e in questo tentativo di pulizia noi abbiamo riscontrato all'assaggio che una volta pulito era un caffè che aveva delle potenzialità. Per cui abbiamo proposto a Slow Food un percorso che si basava sul insegnare alla popolazione il diverso valore delle ciliegie a diversa maturazione. In questo percorso che è durato vari anni noi abbiamo ogni volta assaggiato per valutare eh, il livello di qualità eh, raggiunto. L'amarezza è molto piacevole, quindi diamo un voto di almeno 6. L'acidità è un'acidità diciamo bassa ma di buona qualità che è 
il massimo di acidità che noi possiamo desiderare per un caffè in espresso alto è l'equilibrio generale è un caffè ben bilanciato molto gradevole all'assaggio il totale è 86 e mezzo direi che il risultato è eccezionale è un universo il caffè se uno compra un pacco di caffè anche di una grande ditta, di un grande nome ma io dico ma perché non dire quello che c'è dentro perché non raccontare la storia di quel pacco di caffè quando l'hai fatto, quando è stato coltivato da quale sono le persone che l'hanno coltivato eh, di che anno è l'origine, far capire anche le differenze di un luogo, di una popolazione, di una tecnica, di una botanica. Che ne so, in Guatemala il caffè è più aromatico, in Etiopia è più floreale e più speziato, se vogliamo dire più anche di corpo. È bello sapere che questo caffè che stai bevendo l'ha fatto i coltivatori, che ne so, a Guatenango o a Santo Domingo, o nel caso del mio amico Men, in Etiopia. The Slow Food Herena Forest Wild Coffee Presidium has allowed gatherers to progressively improve the quality of their coffee, shorten the production and distribution chain and find new market opportunities both in Ethiopia and abroad. Through these initiatives the producers work, the community and the territory of origin can be protected and promoted. I'm just